Hello everybody, I have this LED lamp, I think they call them Cobb, C-O-B lamps. I really like it, didn't pay very much money for it, bought it online, shipped from Asia, pretty cheap, but I'm having a little bit of a problem with it. This end disc on the end of the lamp, this thing is flickering. And the lamp is so bright that the flickering is really annoying, so I can't live with the flickering, so I've decided to disassemble the lamp to see whether I can fix it. Otherwise, I'm just going to pitch it. And I've determined that, you know, if you, if you look at how this thing is designed, there are two wires which come up and feed this top plate. I pried this cap off. I'm probably going to try to super glue it or uh, use my soldering gun with a knife blade to reflow some of the plastic just to get it to attach to this other part. But I also will draw your attention to being very careful with these lamps. They have a lot of exposed connections. And on this, is, this particular lamp, this connection right here and this connection right here are alive. I don't know what the voltage is and I'll read, I'm going to take a reading on it, but uh, my suggestion to you is never mess with any of these lamps when they're powered on. So install them, leave them alone. I am probably going to put a dab of silicone or hot melt over those two hot electrical connections once I read the voltage and see how uh, see what the voltage potential is there. Well, let me just demonstrate for you that it's not working. There's the lamp, and here's the end plate on here. You can see that the LEDs are not illuminated but the side LEDs are. I know this is really bright, so it's going to be difficult to see. But I just wanted to demonstrate that for you, that the bottom side here is not... the end of the lamp's not working. Well, I figured out my problem. I don't know how well this is going to show up in the video, because the light's going to be really bright. But I redid the wiring and redid all the connections here and I resoldered all the connections on the LEDs and that didn't seem to improve anything it's still flickering on and off but I have now traced it down to the defective LED if you if I short this LED out and all I've done is taken a jumper cable here just a you know, test lead and I put it has my alligator clips on the end, and I just have little paper clips in it. But if I short out this LED right here, this LED chip, everything works properly. So I have two solutions here. One, I could just remove the LED and solder a jumper across it and just short it, or just short out the LED with a jumper wire. Or I can try to find a replacement LED to throw in there. I don't have any surface mount LEDs like this, I would imagine just moving one LED is not going to be that detrimental to the entire circuit. So I jumped around, I went to each LED, shorting it out to see if I could find just one, and sure enough, this one right here if I short it out, it's the bad one and it makes sense, all these LEDs are in some sort of, for the most part, series circuit. So I've removed the chip that was right here. And all I used was a very, very fine tip soldering iron and a little bit of uh, solder wick. And there's the culprit. So as best as I can determine, the LEDs here on here are 5630s or 5730s. In case you didn't know it, I think the the, the dimensions 5630 is 5.6 millimeters by 3.0 millimeters, or the 5730 has sort of little solder tabs on the end of it, and it's 57. Uh, uh, 5.7 centimeters uh, 
by uh, three set me I guess it's millimeters 56 millimeters uh, by 30 millimeters my LEDs have finally arrived uh, I got a little package of them here I got a hundred of them for 37 cents delivered it took uh, 28 days but for 37 cents in an attempt to salvage this cob light and we're gonna give it a try so now all I got to do is get this LED chip soldered into place here. I will use my uh, super fine tip. This tip is this tip is very fine. It's not going to need much heat to get the solder to flow on those two pads. There it is, it's fixed and it works. Amazing. So for 37 cents I salvaged this light, this cob light. So now all I got to do is put the top back on together, a little super glue and uh, reflow some of the plastic just with my soldering iron, just melt a little bit of the plastic retaining ring. Uh, and I should be good as new. So here's the retaining lid or cap or ring and as best I can tell it looks to me like it was originally sort of uh, super glued between here and here. So I'm going to get this put back together again as you can see I'm trying to close up the gaps here. Yeah, that'll go back together again. I like to use the rope cutting tip of my soldering gun to reflow plastic. And rather than glue it, which is how it was originally supplied or built, I'm going to just reflow a little bit of plastic here. Make sure you have enough ventilation. show you again I've got this light working for 37 cents and I have 99 extra LEDs working beautifully the ends not flashing anymore all the LEDs are lit so hey thanks for watching if you found this at all helpful or entertaining, uh, please subscribe to my channel. Desperately trying to get to a thousand subscribers. Uh, or give me a thumbs up. Uh, thanks for watching.